What's up, guys? Welcome to ATO Channel. Today, we'll guide you through the usage of our digital counter. Let's get started. Things we'll be using here include two key components: the counter meter itself and a proximity switch or sensor, both available at ATO.com. The proximity switch is used to detect the presence or absence of an object and sends a signal to the counter, incrementing the count. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at our digital counter. This is a preset counter that adopts relay output, featuring a remarkable accuracy of plus minus 0.1% per scale, and it operates within a wide power range of 90 to 260 volts AC. What's more, the counter boasts a user-friendly interface with two large six-digit LED display screens, allowing you to conveniently monitor both the present and set values. Additionally, the combination of the yellow set button, the blue reset shift button, and the two green navigation buttons facilitates setup and configuration, enabling seamless interaction with the intuitive interface. Now let's move on to the wiring process. To connect the digital counter, you need to start identifying the terminals on the digital counter. The schematic has been provided here for your reference. Connect the power supply to the appropriate terminals on the digital counter, ensuring correct polarity. Next, wire the proximity sensor to the input terminals of the counter. The sensor is a PMP type, so we're going to connect one black wire from the sensor to terminal 8, the blue wire to terminal 10, and the other black wire to terminal 12. Once the wiring is complete, let's flip up the switch to power up the entire circuit. Once the digital counter is ready, it's time to set up the digital counter according to a specific requirements. To adjust the set value, press the reset button. Pressing the reset button repeatedly allows you to move between digits. To increase or decrease the value, use the up and down arrows. Simultaneously pressing the set and up buttons allows you to adjust the position of the decimal point. Press the set button to confirm. Next, press and hold the set button to enter the instrument settings. The instrument will display parameter codes on the panel. The first code is PC. It represents the pulse averaging coefficient, which is to be conditioned so that each pulse corresponds to one cycle or event of the input signal. Press the reset button to begin setting. For example, let's modify this parameter to 1.0, then press set to confirm. Next, locate the parameter R1, which represents the output control selection. Press reset to select C as the output mode then press set to confirm. Selecting mode C means that when counter detects the preset value in SV1, R1 will immediately output and reset the count value to 0, starting counting from 0 again. If you set team 1, which is the output delay reset time, the counting will not stop during the specified delay time. So next, we're gonna get our hands on parameter team 1. Press the reset button multiple times to adjust to the specific position that needs modification. Use the arrow keys to make changes. In our case, we opt for 3 seconds as our delay time and press set to confirm. Then it takes you to the next parameter, IMP, which refers to the count input selection. If any, make adjustments as you want and press set to confirm and exit. The next parameter is DP. It stands for decimal point position on the PV display panel. Coming after that is CPS, referring to the maximum counting speed. We'll set it to the default value of 6000. The next parameter we're going to modify is data, intended for you to enable or disable data retention when there's power off. Use the reset button to activate or deactivate this function as needed. The following parameter is SIG, which allows you to select the input type for the proximity sensor or encoder. Based on the model we're using, we will change the input from MPN to PMP. Once the settings are complete, long press the set button to exit the parameter settings. It's time to test the digital camera. Begin by activating the proximity switch by placing an object within its sensing range. Observe the camera's display as it accurately counts the objects passing by. And when the present value matches the set value, the output signal of L1 becomes 1, and the count value is reset to 0. After 3 seconds, L1 will reset. That wraps it up our step-by-step -step guide on using ATO 6-digit counter with a proximity sensor for counting applications. We appreciate you joining us for this demonstration, and we hope you found it insightful and practical. You can rely on the precision and reliability of our digital counter to keep track of your production, inventory, or any other counting requirements with ease. Visit ADO.com today to explore our wide range of industrial automation products, including digital counters, proximity switches, and more. If you like this video, do drop a like and subscribe for more inspiring content in our upcoming videos. Have a nice day. Until next time.